What's up guys, Justin here, aka mhero25, I'm back after a mini two week break. I didn't want to upload anything to be honest, I had videos, but it's just like Nats was like, uh, Nats was come, like both Nats for the UK and the US were coming, or the EU, sorry. And I was like, you don't need to see our, you don't need to see uh, local videos when you have that to watch. So I decided to take a quick break, get myself back together and get my, get a good schedule going. But, uh, you know, now we're back at it with some uh, live duel replays. So right now we're at our first match of our locals. We have Anthony on the left playing Pedia's Oak Frogs. Uh, Rick on the right playing uh, Trick Stars. And Candina attempted to resolve a Valor happen, Pod Duality happen, adding Light Stage, activating Light Stage to search into now Lycurus, I assume. I mean, I don't understand what, I don't see a scenario where you wouldn't want to switch Lycoris unless you already have two in your hand then you would probably get like Lully Bell maybe or if not Reincarnation honestly I don't know this deck too well I don't know which one is applicable to search the other one I think it's Candina can search for anything while like well Light Stage can only search for a monster <laughs> anyway Anthony proceeds to set four pass that's always a, that's always a great opening in Paleo's Old Krogs remember that those openings are terrible just like you know as long, but it's it's really bad turn one, or unless you have like hey true so you can return everything, so like everything they have gets pretty dead. Um, so reckless greed happened and uh, proceeds to activate lost wind, which is a really good card um, in the game, right? Which is a really good card back in the day. As of right now, I don't know why people aren't playing it. Maybe it's just it's too slow. Uh, I mean, you do have infinite impertinence, which is a lot faster, but you know. The fact that that card is like double utility, it's almost like breakthrough skill except, you know, it, I don't know. They're all, there's so many similar trap cards that do the same thing. Uh, anyway, life point count, like, you know, this life point count right now is like 2,000 plus, uh, yeah. So he's seeing 3,000, uh, Anthony's seeing like 3,000 damage right now, if I remember correctly. And then act summoning Phoenix, which I don't understand why. I, I, I understand why. But like once you know that you're playing Paleozoic Frogs, like any popping is kind of like not useful. Like there's no book of like the Book of Moon one is dead against this deck, and you know, uh, I what the frick does Opabina do? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, so uh, Anthony's turn activates uh, Card of Demise, which is which is one of those high price cards for such a long time until recently when um, True Draco got hit and. You know, since Paleozoic kind of fell off the uh, fell off the way, you know, it just happened like that. Oof. So let's see what happens here. Ooh. ooh. Sorry for the pings. I am multitasking with my wife and other friends right now. And you know, dual videos they can take a long time to go through. Nothing. Sometimes you just, don't, like, sometimes, like, you know, if it's, like, a standard duel, everything can be said, and you don't have to really say much. It's just nice to have, like, these, uh, you know, these overlays sometimes to just talk about other things. Let me know if you guys want to, if you guys would rather have me actually commentate the game or actually just have a conversation. I know Twiz does something like that, and there are other channels who just, like, go just audio from, the, uh, just audio from the video itself, which can be cool, but it's just sometimes a little irksome. And I don't, I personally don't feel like sitting around for like an 8 minute, uh, like, you know, for 45 minutes for one match when I can fast forward it as best as I can. And, you know, maybe I should even consider doing more than 2 times speed, because like 2 times is alright. But like 4 times, whew, those games would be fast. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Toad's Effect, bringing back another Froggy. Uh, he changed his mind to target Ronin Toad, which, is a, which was a good option, just because like, you know, who doesn't want more frogs on board? Uh, I'm assuming to draw. I'm oh, sorry. So, engine draw phase, draw. Making sure his swap frog is live, activating effects, and Valored. Oof, so hard. Uh, activate anti spell fragrance just because he needs another monster on the field that's not a frog. Overlay into the second totally awesome in his deck, which is super handy. And for those of you who don't know, Anthony is actually one of our one of our uh, 
good players, one of our best players actually. He actually went to nationals this year, and he just, you know, he, like I, uh, like, knowing this guy, he never plays hardcore meta. He always plays something offbeat. He likes to do what he wants, and I feel like that suits him very well. And you know, uh, sometimes he finds uh, ways to beat like even hardcore meta decks with using stun decks or like decks like this. Like he really flocked to um, Pelizo Frogs for one, for a moment, but it's just because it was meta. He didn't want to play it. But you know that it's kind of faded off. He picked up the whole deck real cheap, and now he's still like, you know, a really good player. Let's see. Uh, attempt to activate Regeki got negated. Set one pass. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point there's nothing really, nothing much Rick can do because like it's he he's living off one like two cards in his hand. His opponent has like seven, like five, six, seven, like like eight cards on board. So. It's just not. It, it's just. It's optimal for him just to just kind of scoop it up right now to save time on himself because what we're trying to do right now at our locals is practice. Like all the players, especially me and like anybody who wants to go to regionals or even attempt to go to nationals or even consider go to a YCS. We're practicing, um, you know, two minute turns and ten minute rounds, and so that way we can get fast, we can get good. Like if you don't know your play in two minutes, you know, you need to learn your deck better. It's kind of what. It's kind of what the overall consensus has been like you need to learn your deck so that we can learn your best plays in the in the amount of time because with the new uh, with the new rule in effect it, it you know just thinking can get you like a game loss because someone could think you're stalling or maybe you could maybe you could even mess yourself up because you took too long to think one of your plays through when you know and you know you just got to learn the best play for the best for for like uh for a lot of situations uh so we're deciding right now, and Anthony's probably like dilly dallying just because like he is our, he is our official judge. You know, um, I still have yet to take my Yu-Gi-Oh judge test just because like I, I don't know, I'm lazy about it. And I think this is around the same time one of our guys walked in because we only had five people to start off our tournament, and then someone else walked in, so we made six. So we just had to add him in, and we just gave the other two players like you know and like a t and time extension just so they can play fairly. Like this is the best thing about off-season Yu-Gi-Oh. You can. You, you get you, you're nice to everybody you can be. You learn you learn weirder, wackier pr plays, and then you find the deck you want to play in the next meta and just kind of build up to that. That's what I'm doing right now. Like me personally, I finally invested into Ash Blossoms at the I hope at their lowest price. I'm not sure if it will go up. If it does, I'm fine with that. If it doesn't, I'm fine with that too. And you know, it, it's a good time to pick up cards that you know like I, I finally had a theory down or like the math down where like. You know, whatever the set is before the Megatons, that is a set. Those are the sets I have to invest in the most because everything else has more likely of a chance to get reprinted. So, right now, I pulled a Ghost Bolt actually off this weekend, which is really cool. And then I'm just looking for you know three, two impertinences, two more bells. You know, I thought Anthony was playing a gold card, and then I realized that was a Rice Krispie. I was like, dude, what the heck? And like, why are you? <laughs> I thought that was one of those, one of those gold blue eyes because this guy has. I don't know how he obtains them, but he obtains like cards like that. Anyway, Rick uh, proceeds to go first, activate Pot of Desires, to plus himself to, or is it a plus one? I think it's a plus one. Activate, uh, summon Lycoris, and then Reincarnation Effect. So. And he did not get the light stage, so he can't do that, he can't do that extra 200 burn, which can be really life-saving. Uh... Only one reincarnation. Then the Lycor summoned. And on Lycor summon he activates Candina to Book of Moon It. Good play, good play. And then summoned Deep Frog. Deep I don't know what Deep Frog does. In all honesty, I forget what Deep Frog does. I know what Ronin Totem does and what Swamp Frog does. Sorry guys, like I am lighting up with all my friends messaging me, so I'm just mute that real quick. Hopefully that didn't mute the mic, but I, I'm pretty sure it didn't. If it did, oh man, I have to record another video. Wonderful. Ah, so activate Carter Demise to get more, get more, to dig more into that deck to get more plays. Uh, hopefully he pulled more trap cards than he needed. If not, he has two monsters. Whack track. Let's see. I see one monster he can set, and he had to ditch a Baylor. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to use it, you're not going to use it. Triple Lycoris on field. Oof. And it's a Holly Angel. 
so mad at the TCG still that they keep changing these. I know why they changed Halloween to Holy Angel, but I mean Holy to Holly Angel, but come on, man. Some of these names you didn't have to change that much. Called by the Grave. To oh, use that on Lycoris so that way can uh, Holly Angel can search it. It's nice. Attack into a Valor. Dang, he had to set a Valor. That's rough. And yeah, Lycoris cannot activate its effects. And anti spell fragrance. Candina will return. Bam. Overlay into. Totally total awesome, dude. No copyright. <laughs> uh, okay. Activates Chaos Sorcerer. Good play, good play. But I, I feel like that more impedes himself on that. I don't I don't know really. So he's de what is, they're just debating like wait, is that resolve? It does. Just because he special summoned something. Uh activate Lost Wind. Ooh, to make it fourteen to the run it over. Good days. So take 600 damage off that one. I don't even know what the life points are. I just know <laughs> when someone scoops, they scoop. I'm not. I'm not really into the whole like keeping life points on the video just because it's distracting to the. Pl it's distracting to me to edit it, and then it's also distracting to you as the viewer because I feel like, you know, instead of watching the plays, you're more concerned about life points. When when you're watching these videos, you should be concerned about like how the play resolves, why it happened this way. Do you make these mistakes? Does another does a friend of yours make this mistake? Does his play, you know, actually resolve those kind of things? Uh, hmm. Honest. During damage step, actually. So, ooh, called by the grave again. So it does negate. Entering draw phase. Pot of duality. Oh yeah, and Rick caught him on that. Like you have to set it first. You can't just straight activate it. Solemn warning. On the special summon or the effect. I don't know what he's warning at that one. And then warnings. Uh, Toad's effect to activate engraved since it was destroyed. It will be able to resolve. Set one. Swap frog, got Vaylord. Summon Rodent, summon Dupe frog. And sorry for any noises you hear, that might be my puppy. He's just all about life right now. He's, he's living his best life, as, my, as me and my wife say. Uh, and standby phase of Rick's turn. Totally awesome effect to get another frog. Does he have the target? He does have a target, I saw that, maybe two. He's just debating like, okay, what do I need here? And Swap Frog probably is his best choice. Another Swap Frog to Grave, because I think he banished other Rodin and Toten. God. I was actually at one point really close to building frogs myself, and then I was like, nah, I don't like that life. And the Candina effect, and the, uh, yeah, Candina effect act, uh, attempts to activate. Toad effects, destroy, negate set. I mean, negate destroy set, and then pass turn. Sets. Duality, un du toi. That's Reckless Greed. Because he can. I mean, pretty much this whole duel kind of slanted more into Anthony's favor just because, you know, with only one reincarnation and not the light stage, you, you don't get much of that burn effect from, like, like Trick Stars, which, which they're notoriously known for, for that, uh, that instant. Oof. Is it one? Is that instant? Is it two? Oh, man, it can be. It, it burns a lot, though. It burns. Anyway, so, uh, and they proceed to scoop phase at this point because Rick knows he just, he's top decking. He just can't get out of it. Yeah, that's duel one, guys. It's, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem that fun, but it's more fun for, you know, to see my players get better and see how they play. And then maybe, maybe you'll learn something too. Maybe you'll discover like, oh, maybe I should play Paleo. Maybe I should play Trick Stars. Maybe I shouldn't play Trick Stars. Who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you like me rambling, actually doing commentary, or maybe just playing the audio of the video itself. Now don't forget to like and subscribe, and please, please hit that like button, guys. I know I'm 
I keep coming back and forth to this channel, but I really love doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I love doing Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and I love doing uh, dual replays. So please support me as best you can, guys. Alright, this is Justin, aka Here 25 signing out. Peace.